I recently got myself this mini PC for astrophotography and in this video I will tell you what I think of it. This is Melee Quieter 3Q Fanless Mini PC and this replaced my old hardy laptop. Let's talk about its features first. First of all, let's admire its portability. This is so small and that's the beauty of it. It's very tiny. Like me, you can attach this to your telescope without any issues. It's extremely light, in fact it only weighs 7.8 ounces. Perfect pocket size for astrophotography. Another th great thing about this PC is that it is fanless, which means you cannot hear this PC. It is absolutely dead silent. You'll have to see the power light to check if this is on. Sometimes it trips me up because I think it's not on. Because it doesn't have any moving parts, there will be no vibrations so you can even attach it on top of your telescope and expect it to work just fine. It won't send any unwanted movements of vibrations to your system. Another great thing about this mini PC is that there are four USB 3.0 ports which means I can connect all my equipment without much hassle. I can connect my cooled camera, my mount, my guide camera and even even my dew heater to it and it works very well. USB 3.0 is lightning fast which means less glitches and faster data transfer which is so important for astrophotography. Personally one of the main reasons for buying this PC was its USB ports. My PC, my old PC was just too old to cope with modern cameras. I would find that my camera lags or stops working. With this new PC, I have eliminated all those connectivity issues. This computer also has two HDMI ports along with an Ethernet cable plug, but that has very limited use in astrophotography world. This computer is powered by 12 watts USB-C cable. I know some people don't like USB-C, and the fact that it is powered by that, I personally have no complaints. It works just fine. Internally, this PC is powered by quad-core CPUs Celeron Jasper Lake N5105, which is powerful and more than capable to do the job. I've tested this processor and uh, it's very capable and fast to deal with multiple astrophotography applications. This mini PC comes with uh, 8 GB RAM, which again is more than enough for astrophotography. With all the apps open, uh, I use about two to three gigabytes of RAM, which is uh, so not even near its full power. Another excellent thing about this PC is that it's got Wi-Fi 6, which is very, very fast. I control this PC via my phone and my desktop and it hasn't missed a beat. It's very, very fast in terms of connectivity. Wi-Fi 6 offers up to 450 MB per second on 2.4 GHz network and 1000 Mbps on 5 GHz networks. So it's bloody fast and that's awesome. In terms of disk space, this uses eMMC storage and there are 128GB to 512GB options available. My version is 128GB because I store my stuff on OneDrive and uh, I don't think I need more space than that. But if you wanted to, you could expand its disk space internally or use a micro SD card. It supports up to two terabytes. You could also connect an external hard drive with it. There are many options, so you won't have problems in terms of space. In terms of connectivity, as mentioned earlier, you can connect your phone or computer with this very easily. Windows has its own inbuilt remote desktop application, which is amazingly good. I've installed all the well-known astrophotography softwares in this, and they work flawlessly. 
I've got Nina, PhD2, GS Server, Ascom, SharpCap, Astap installed and they all work very well. Now let's talk about some possible shortfalls of this device. Do I have any complaints? Well, two things to watch out for. Firstly, this has Windows 11 inbuilt, which is not ideal for astrophotography. I don't think Windows 11 is ready for astrophotography. We have a long way to go in my humble opinion, so you will need to degrade it to Windows 10, which is not hard to do. Let me know if you would like me to take you through that process. If I get enough requests, I might make a video on how to do that. Second thing to watch out for is temperature. This thing heats up pretty quick because there is uh, no fan in it. So I would recommend not installing this on top of your telescope just because uh, just in case heat causes some unforeseen issues. You could install this on its on the side or somewhere where you know temperature isn't going to cause any troubles. Having said that, I think this is the best device for astrophotography for PC users. I've never used ASI Air so I can't comment about that but for PC users this is really is a game changer. It has really changed the way I do astrophotography. I don't have to bring my computer and drag along a charger and put a long USB 3 cable. I just pull my telescope out and power it and that's it. Bob is your uncle. Well, I highly recommend this. I just love that this device is so portable. You can easily move it around. You don't have to bring along bulky chargers or bulky laptops. Just plug it in and turn it on and use your phone to remotely control everything. And this thing is pretty cheap to buy as well. I got this on Christmas sale and it was $100 off. But even without the sale, I think it's pretty good offer. When I'm not using this for telescopes, I use this as a spare PC. So there's a lot going for it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or concerns.